rooted um, art that's literally, again, imitating nature. It's a, rooted in Buddhism, it's imitating water and wind and all the elements, fire, how all the elements move together. And Darka specifically does a, a sort of arm contortion. But I brought many people from Mongolia. She's now, I've trained her to, she's now our lead makeup artist, lead costumer, still a performing artist. Um, she's a cook in the house for when we have clients there. I've taught her how to do mosaic now, um, which is a really viable art form. Um, so, so again, it's very important that everybody, as an artist and designer, learn as much as you can so that you can actually sustain yourself to make a living. Because it, it's a process you're going to find out. This is telling you. Because everyone's going to tell you something different, or you're going to perceive it different, and then our job is to kind of even change their perception of what they're telling us. So come up close. Plenty of them over here to my left. Okay, so what we're going to try to imagine right now through the story is we're going to create a place that not, not only fosters connectivity, but it's going to force it. So this is a new, it's going to be a totally new way of thinking of an environment. Um, and I know from the house I live in, this kind of environment is possible. I didn't build my house, I transformed it. Um, through storytelling, it is able to create what I'm going to try to get you guys to create. But you guys have the luxury of actually building something from your own imagination from scratch. Um, so let's do something to capture this here. Um, so I want this place, a living environment, to actually, um, it's going to be a place that can transform and adapt to all these elements, to the intellect, to the wonder, to the imagination, the mental, physical health of the people living there, to the primal and carnal needs of the people living and visiting there, for every occupant that comes to it. So it's really important to have this full range, um, just, just go there. And ultimately, I think the goal is that this place, as it's being lived in and people are moving through it, um, is actually a place where wisdom is growing. Um, I think in families, living underwater and not disturbing um, the ecosystem that's there. We're going to for a short while, but how do we restore it? I mean, building absolutely you know, disturbed ecosystems everywhere. Um, technical notes, things that people ask you right away. The first thing people will always ask you before they even tell you about the project, how much? That's all they ever ask you, how much, how much, how much? I hate that question. So the, the job of the storyteller, you know, it's, it's interesting because it's, a, it's an important thing, but I always, I, it's my, I don't even talk price anymore. So I, at this point in my life, I built a sales team around me that they deal with the how much. I don't want to, because the how much will kill your inspiration instantly. So we're, we're not, we're not going to worry about how much at all. Okay, so the sky's the limit on this. Even though I'm an astrophysicist who's probably not making very much money, but I believe that if you find ways to do things, you can do them. Um, so, but we will need for sure an estimated timeline of how this thing's going to work. Um, how is this thing maintained? This seems like, the way I'm explaining to you, it seems like a really difficult maintenance thing here. So it's going to be part of the story. It's like, how is this easy to maintain? I mean, it's, it's a great cell to create this thing. But like, how the hell am I going to take care of this thing? Like, so that's an important part of it. Um, how easy is it to repair? Um, which is always, in any environment, it gets destroyed. It'd be great to make indestructible environments, but they don't exist yet. Um, And then again, so the whole, well, let's think of the house as, let's just call it connectivity. So everybody who goes in there is sort of forced. Of course, there'll be private areas as well. Um, I'm adamant about private toilets, for sure. Yeah. Private soundproof toilets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one place you should have your damn privacy. Um, I, I also like to have music um, everywhere. And I like the ability to be able to have environments that can change music based on who, what your guests like. So when there is a... So I 